Thumbs up, everybody. We are privileged today, tonight, to hear from somebody in Culturama. I'm Lee Coyne, your host, and we have a lovely lady from Eugene, Oregon, and she is a guitarist and songwriter and singer, and her name is Katie Sontag. Welcome aboard, Hi. Katie. Hi. Okay. Happy to be here. Now, you, you've seen some of our old shows, or at least one, mm -hmm. so you know a little bit about the format. Yeah. And we start with the beginning. You were born where? I was born in Manhattan, New York. Okay. Yep. What street? Well, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> New York Hospital. Okay, I lived yeah. there for a while. Mm -hmm. And then did you move directly here to? No, I grew up uh, in Westchester County in a town called Hastings on Hudson, New okay. York. And Is that near, near Terrytown? Mm-hmm. Very okay. close to Terrytown. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That was Tappan Zee Bridge, my hometown. I know that. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> near there. And, I, I, yeah. I came from Brooklyn, Queens. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, my family lives in Yonkers mm -hmm. still. Um, Getty Square. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've been in Eugene for about four years. Mm -hmm. How do you find the contrast between Eugene and the East Coast? It's very, very, very different. Uh -huh. um, I lived in California for six years before I moved to Eugene, so it's not... Urban California, I bet. Um, I lived in the Bay Area and in Mendocino County and in Big Sur, so I oh, lived so in a bunch a, of different you, places. You have quite a diversity. Yeah, of, I've traveled uh, quite a bit. Hocus but, Pocus and other locusts. But Eugene feels mm. really good right now. Mm. It's yeah. a kind of a liberal city. It's it uh, recognizes the arts. The whole mm -hmm. center is wonderful. Mm -hmm. They even have ballet there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's and, and pretty I've, and yeah. Have you been to the uh, Shed Institute? I haven't made it there yet. Uh, that's I mean, I drive by it that's sometimes. That's one of my favorite places because they, they do a lot of musical reviews. Yeah, they've got some really great performers mm -hmm. who come through. Okay, so if I go down there, I'll tell you and your boyfriend you could join me. Okay. okay. <laughs> so let's do Once Upon a Time. Right now you're invested in music and folk singing, mm -hmm. which is not only the melody, but you have a message that you want to deliver. Mm -hmm. When you were growing up, when you were a teenager, many moons ago. Mm. Uh, did you take a liking to folk music or did it come later on? How did it all begin for you? Hmm. Um, when I was, I wasn't writing, so I was sort of dabbling in writing songs right. at that point. Like it wasn't, I didn't play the guitar then. I mm. grew up playing piano, I uh, classical piano. Mm -hmm. So I would sometimes uh, like sit at my piano for hours and just like play and sing, but I, I wasn't performing. Um, mm. I was in choir and I liked singing, but um, yeah, it wasn't like this, it was different. I did some musicals. Um, and then actually after college is when a friend of mine um, down in the Bay Area mm -hmm. had a guitar and lent, lent me guitar and taught me three chords and I just like wrote my first song. And, what, yeah. What, tell us about your first song. Well, it was about the man I was uh, involved with at the time and it was just a really sweet song I wrote to him and mm. yeah. The name of the song was? Oh, gosh, I never play it now. <laughs> but, um, it's a past era. Yeah, it was, um, I guess it was called In the Sun, In the sun. probably. Their name is Sun Tag, so. Yeah. Interesting. Cause, yeah. Now, uh, did you have a hero or heroine in folk music that you kind of like held um, up in high esteem? Hmm. I mean, of course, like Joni Mitchell is always like the go-to. Okay. Um, but I actually really loved um, Fiona Apple growing up, and I wouldn't call her music folk music at all. It's pretty intense, and um, it's like uh, pian she's a pianist, and mm -hmm. it's very complex. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I got really inspired by like the intensity of her emotion, mm -hmm. which I really appreciate in music. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what yeah. inspires you to, to to write the songs to um, mobilize your inner adrenaline? Yeah. Well, a lot of the songs I write come from like times when I'm actually feeling like really challenged, like having mm. I'm struggling with something. Sure. And um, for me, picking up the guitar and singing really helps me center myself and then also express like it mm. just it's a really mm. great 
mode of expression for mm -hmm. me. So often I find that the songs I write are like kind of to myself to help me process and go through sure. a challenging time. Transition. And then it's sort of developed into this thing of wanting to share it with people and mm -hmm. create a community Katie, in that do space. Do you have a website where people can, who, who are impressed by your music can go to see you and get more of you? Well, um, I'm on Facebook, which is sort of my primary platform so right now. spell out your name. Um, it's Katie, K-A-T-I-E, Sontag, S-O-N-T-A-G. And mm. I'm also on SoundCloud. Um, so you can look me up on SoundCloud and Facebook. Go for it. Yeah, I think we have, <laughs> I said off camera, and I repeat it again, I think we have a young Joan Baez type in the making. Mm. And, and I'd like to help you in your career with that being intrusive because I thank you but you know sort of like a sideline I always need help coach. I always need you support know, a, a mentor of, of sorts thank you okay uh, I am not gifted in singing or, although I, I have done a song and I'd like to, to see can you do the birthday song for me I'll, I'll I can give it a shot okay should we do it my birthday was this week okay. here it goes the birthday ballad <laughs> Should all birthdays be forgot before we lose our mind? Let's not boohoo our friendly crew or leave them in a bind. Our search goes on, not for Don Juan, if we be so inclined. That birthday cake, a big mistake, weight loss. A daily grind. <laughs> Years pile on our youth. Be gone, those candles multiply. Another year, another tear. Ask not of when nor why. Woohoo! Terrific. 77, a 77 still going yeah. strong. Thank you, Good my job. Friend. Okay, good. Okay, my friends out there, we're happy to introduce Katie from Eugene doing a rendition of some beautiful folk song music that will remain in your hearts forever. Go. I walked to the river to watch the water flow so free and I climbed the mountain to watch the sunset over me maybe I can trust in the unfolding nature of the universe as it happens through me and Walk through the trees The clarity will come to me I feel a heavy sorrow For what we once had That seemed to slip away And I wish that I could grab it with my two hands and hold it so dear but it seems the most precious things in life I can't hold on to and it seems that they come for a moment so deeply and then they're gone and then they're gone And then they're gone Will they come again? Will they come again? And I will mend The pieces Of my own heart With the love of friends And I will walk to rivers and climb mountains to remember that I can trust in the unfolding nature of the universe as it happens through me and be open to the impermanence of it all.
can give and accept what is and accept what is. Um, this next song um, is called Same Source, and um, I wrote it so that the chorus would be a sing-along, which won't happen here, but I just wanted to mention that. It's been a long and windy path everything out there moves so fast I don't want to try to keep up I'd rather rest inside your Inside your love to rest inside your love to rest inside your love sometimes my mind spins right out into the past and future's doubt right now I feel an inner glow and I can let my mind go to rest inside my Inside my love to rest inside my love because your love and my love come from the same source, come from the same source. Your From the same source, come from the same source, that source feeds the force for all of life, for all of life, that source feeds the force. to the source and as life dies our love flies back to the source back to the source and when we're out there alone let's take a breath and come home inside ourselves to what is true that we are love through and through to rest inside our Your love and 
from the same source, come from the same source, your love and my love come from the same source, come from the same source, that source. Um, Terrific. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to sing one uh, that's called Teach Me. And here it goes. <laughs> She thought that he could love her, but she was wrong. And when she understood it, she couldn't hold on. Without knowing where she was going, she walked away. And with her sad and lonely heart, she sat down. Teach me how to live, show me that there is meaning in all of this. Teach me how to live, if it's not about love, then what is life? True. Felt how rough and callous they'd become. The myth breaking that a woman needs. 